This is the worst electrical system that I've ever seen. I'm going to walk you through it to show you why. Because it is so wrong. There's so many things wrong that it needs to be documented. I don't believe anyone would believe me if I tried to explain it. So what we're looking at on the right is a main breaker box. In the center and the left are two sub panels that the main breaker powers. Looking at the main breaker, you see they have copper conductors coming in. Adequate size. And they feed the 100 amp breaker. That is the end of the good work. The 100 amp breaker has attached to it 50 amp aluminum wires. You usually see wires like these on stoves or heating and air, but they're not able to carry 100 amps like the breaker is. So at 80 amps, the breaker would have no reason to trip. And these wires would melt and the jackets would ignite. So these wires travel up and out over to the first sub panel. As they enter the sub panel, you see the energized conductors pass right through the sheet metal cabinet. They don't have any protection from rubbing against the sharp edges of the sheet metal and cutting into the jacket and eventually having a conductor straight to ground. Once you get a little further into the panel, it's more disturbing because it's a 220 service. When we get down to the buses of the breaker panel, you see they have used a three phase panel. And the 220 service has two hot wires. So when some place did an upgrade of their service and they pulled the panel out, the homeowner had a free panel. But it was three phase. But it was free, so he wanted to make it work. So to compensate for the third leg of power that he doesn't have, he installed a bare energized conductor that runs from the black leg to the red leg. That bare wire has power on it. Okay, then there's this 50 amp breaker. The 50 amp breaker is powering two number 10 wires. Number 10 wires are good for 30 amps. So you could put 40 amps on your device. The breaker would never throw. And these wires would melt and the jackets would ignite. Further down is 30 amp breaker. The 30 amp breaker with too much wire showing is a number 12 wire. Number 12 wire is good for 20 amps.
there's a 30 amp circuit number 10 wires it just passes through the box does not make a stop in the box so attached to the blue leg and the black leg behind these other wires they have attached two more hot wires to pass through the cabinet with no protection and they go up and through the wall into the sub panel with no protection you see they've left out wiring protection in multiple locations so any of these conductors can have power and can rub on the sharp edges this 30 amp breaker at the bottom is a fire hazard but if we go and look this number 12 wire that's attached to it you see the way that it's turned green that's because of corrosion so there's less of it now so that is just about to be a fire and not be a fire hazard anymore and the last point that is an immediate concern is that there is no cellophane tape in electric work that is clear packing tape And that is the worst job I have ever seen in a house that is still standing. <laughs>